Hi everyone, it's Miss Stephanie. Coming back to you today with another little activity that you can do at home um, to work on the kids' balance and motor planning. Motor planning um, just means the kids hear um, an instruction, um, they think about how to complete that uh, that action and then they actually do it. Um, so for this activity, um, I'm actually doing it in my kitchen with my kids today. Um, you could do it outside, um, but you know, for this for this one, I just thought it was easy enough to set up inside. Um, so you need limited materials. I would uh, suggest a piece of string, and if you have some colored construction paper or even um, colored duct tape would work great too. I just don't have that. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you our little setup here. All right, so we have our string tied to two chairs, and you can see the string is tied um, pretty low. Um, to increase the challenge, you can move the string up higher and higher on the chair. Um, I also have that, that orange piece of construction paper on the floor, and that is just uh, to show the kids where to stand for the activity. Um, I made four different colored flags to hang over the string. See, I have a red, yellow, green, and blue. And again, with this activity, you can add more colors as the kids get more comfortable with it and you can make it more challenging for them. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call my first assistant over. My son, Charlie, is gonna come over. Hi, Charlie. Hi. And Charlie's gonna stand on that orange piece of construction paper. He's gonna stand on two feet to start, okay? And I'm gonna call out a color and Charlie is going to tap that color with the toe of one foot, okay? So I would suggest starting all with one foot and then you can switch over to the other foot. So I think, how about we start with our right foot, Charlie? Can you show me your right foot? Great job, okay. Um, and another thing, parents, when we are doing balancing exercises, um, our hands should be where, Charlie? Where should our are hands you, be? Are your sides like this or out here? Great. So where are you going to put your hands for this? I'm going to put them on my side. On your sides, on your hips. Okay. So, Charlie, are, is your right foot ready? Yeah. Okay. So Charlie is going to tap the color and then he's going to bring that foot back down onto the orange rectangle. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Yellow. Good. Green. Red. Blue. Green. Yellow. Blue. Red. Great job. Okay, are you ready to try your left foot? Yeah. Show me your left foot. Great. All right. Now, where are your hands going to be for this one? Out here. Oh, out to the sides. Airplane position. Airplane position. Okay, are you ready? Left foot. Yellow. Good. Red. Bring it back to orange. Good. Green. Blue. Red green, yellow, blue. Great job, Charlie. Now I'm going to bring in my next assistant, my daughter, Claire. Hi, Claire. Hi. Claire's going to stand with two feet on that orange rectangle. So back up a little bit. Good job. Now to increase the challenge and to really work on that balance, we are gonna ask Claire to stand on one foot. So Claire, are you gonna to choose to stand on your right foot? Yes? Yes. Okay, so Claire's gonna to choose to start standing, oh, you're gonna stand on your right foot or use your right foot first? Which one do you wanna do? Use my right foot. Okay, so she's gonna stand on her left leg and use her right foot. Now she's gonna to try to tap the flags now and bring that foot back and not touch the floor with it. Right, Claire? Mm -hmm. Okay, so where are your hands gonna be? At my side. You're gonna to choose to have your hands at your side. All right, are you ready? Yes. Okay, yellow, green, red, blue, yellow, blue, red, green. Good job. And now why don't we try to switch feet? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now she's going to be tapping with her left foot and she's gonna try really hard not to put that left foot down on the orange rectangle. Mm -hmm. All right, are you ready? Yes. All right, blue, yellow, blue, red, green. Excellent job. All okay. right, now for the next one, we have another challenge. Um, parents, if any of you remember the game Simon, where um, you have to tap the colors in a certain pattern, you can do that with this flag activity as well. So I'm gonna have both of my kids try this. Since Claire is already standing here, she's gonna do it first and then Charlie will come back and try it. So you're going to pick a foot to stand on and actually Claire's a little bit older, so she um, is a little bit better at her balance. So she can do this while standing on one foot. Our kids that are younger, um, they can do this from standing on two feet and just tap and bring back that foot to standing on two feet. So now I'm gonna call out three colors and Claire is gonna listen to those three colors and then she's gonna tap the flags in that order. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Blue, yellow, red. Great. Green, red, yellow. Should we try four? Yes. Okay. Red, red, green, blue. Great job. How about we try the other foot? Mm -hmm. Whoa, okay. We'll go, we'll start out with four colors. Green, yellow, blue, red. Excellent job. Thank you, Claire. All right, Charlie, would you like to come back and try the Simon version of this game? All right, now, Charlie, are you going to stand on one foot the whole time or would you like on to stand foot. on two feet? I'm going to stand on one foot because I didn't guess I did the one foot actually. Okay, so I'm going to start out calling three colors. Don't tap until I've said the third color. Okay, so listen to all the colors first and then tap in that order. Right. Are you ready? Yep. Blue, green, yellow. Good. Red, blue, yellow. Excellent. Do you think you can go four colors? Oh, maybe, yeah. Okay, let's try. Yellow, yellow, green, blue. Huh. Whoop, try again. Good. Are you ready for another four? Yep. Okay. Green, red, blue, yellow. Excellent job. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Charlie. So parents, you can see that um, it's a really simple activity to try with the kids. Um, for our younger kids, ages two and three, um, it's gonna be a little challenging. So if they need to stand on those two feet, that's okay. Um, but it really, need, it really gets them thinking um, and planning on how to perform that action. Um, so like I said before, you can uh, increase the challenge with this activity by raising the, the uh, string up a little higher to make them bring that leg up while they're standing and balancing on one foot. Um, but I hope you enjoy this activity. Um, give it a try at home if you can. Um, and I will see you all soon. Bye.